Okay. Okay. Uh, is that working? I hope so. I hope so. I hope that everything works. Give me one second because we started like a few minutes earlier and it just knocked me off. Uh, I hope that you are all gathering here. I will start up like in one second i just have to find myself on youtube and i have to find if i put the description box and everything correctly okay we don't need those cables hanging here and i can turn off the extra light perfect <clears throat> i see that you are star you, you started to gather together so just one second because we have extra time, so here. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, perfect. Where is the comments? Yes, I see the comments. Hello, 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 everybody. So I was thinking for a long time, what can we do? I will start my uh, intro and then say some stuff in one second okay i have an assistant today go on hello everybody um i wanted only to say my name is eric and uh, subscribe to my mom oh, okay. for more videos <laughs> okay thank you thank and you. streams thank you bye okay <laughs> okay actually he's supposed just to say hello but if you want to subscribe <laughs> you know i will be not offended uh, okay, I will roll through all the official info that we have around um, in 15 minutes when we will have like official start. I just don't want you to sit over there and, you know, with nothing. And honestly, I would not mind an extra 15 minutes. I will just rearrange everything to see your chat. Hello everyone, uh, hi David, and David will be my moderator today, surprise David. <laughs> uh, yeah, mm. okay, okay, perfect. So, <laughs> um, uh, we will recreate this one. I was struggling today with the idea because I decided that I will go with something in the very last minute as I ran out of any kind of surfaces, subtracts, anything that you can use actually as a base of your art project. Uh, so we will recreate this one on the a little bit other surface. Um, so, um, you know, with going through my stash, I have a ton of those embroidery rings. And if you follow me on Facebook, that means you are sick of them because I'm constantly doing something with them. Basically, it's just because they are handy and they are here and I have a lot so I can create. Um, okay, <clears throat> so we will use this one as our base and I have a composition already partially assembled. It's uh, not a big deal. I have the resin wings and frame and a small snipper chipboard violin that I covered with wax. It doesn't matter. They could be, uh, you know, bare as we will paint them over still and I will use some waxes. Um, it just happened to, for me to have those elements. So I just glued basically similar uh, composition to this one. And I think that we will go here on the side and that will look cool and they can hang out together on my wall <laughs> and that will be uh, awesome. Okay, so here, uh, we still have time, yeah. Uh, I have a cardboard rings that I glued together to have nice and sturdy base and I put a little bit of phenobar gesso on top. And I will add, um, oh my god, rice paper, just to have something in the background. And my rice paper is AD Studio rice paper. And we will apply it with uh, clear gesso. Okay, you can use liquid medium, any kind of liquid medium like Prima Soft Gel or something like that. 
but I have only glossy soap gel, so everything will be shiny and I will have to go with the clear gesso on top. I'm using Liquitex clear gesso, it has really nice tooth to it, so it leaves you this uh, really porous surface that you can apply your other products on and it will just hold everything beautifully and I'm just a big fan of this product. Okay, so I'm adding a little bit of clear just so underneath and on top of my rice paper. I will have to obviously trim the edges. If it doesn't want to stick too well, then just go with your brush a few more times to make sure that all the um, product uh, sunk through your paper to your surface and then it will be fine gonna be fine we are all fine yeah okay so 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 we still have 10 minutes to the offshore startup um, it's good to have a few minutes ahead because I'm always stressing that I have only one hour and I want to finish in one hour because um, the next stream will be uh, Karen Tamir and uh, the link is in the description box I'm sure I'm almost sure. Uh, if not, then uh, I will find a way to put it on the screen. Maybe Karen will uh, um, join us at some point, so then she can pass uh, a link. But I believe that, uh, first of all, that he all know Karen. <laughs> and uh, if you don't, then... Uh, Probably she will be there and she will just put the link up for you. Um, okay. Yeah. So, so, so. So what are you up to, everyone? Did she mention when she bought the wings? No, I didn't mention where I bought the wings. Uh, I molded them with, uh, with the resin in the silicone mold i have no idea what the brand is it looks like aliexpress mold but i didn't bought it on aliexpress i will show you in one second we'll just add those extra scraps because i'm i'm not keeping those tiny scraps in my stash and i don't want them to go to waste so we will just add them here to build up more interest okay so my wings My wings are from this mold. I bought it on the craft convention. It's like three sets of wings and I use this one, those ones. I never use the other two. I always use those and they are beautiful, really angelic uh, wings. The alternative for them will be Finnabar a mold with, uh, with the wings as well. And her wings are a little bit more bulky and a little bigger. Uh, I will show you later on if I will remember. If I don't remember, then please remind me. <laughs> okay, so I'm I'm certain that I want my frame to be quite dark. So we will paint it with Liquitex uh, medium. And while I'm doing that, I will tell you a little bit about our event and our sponsors. So this stream is part of World of Heart. <laughs> Uh, YouTube hop and if I pronounce stuff really horrible feel free to laugh on that <laughs> I mispronounce a lot of things and some things I pronounce really funny because I'm convinced that I'm pronouncing them right if I'm doing it wrong just correct me uh, so anyway you are here uh, as a part of uh, YouTube Hop and we are hopping. Uh, we have a lot of creators doing the streams all day to keep you amused all Saturday long. Uh, um, the one before me, uh, oh my God, uh, I totally forgot uh, the name of my Danish friend. Uh, shoot. Anyway, after me. <laughs> is uh, Karen. Um, 
sorry, I'm a little bit nervous and a little bit stressed. <laughs> it's always uh, a little bit of pressure to go live, uh, especially for much bigger audience than usual. Because usual, you know, only the closest friend and the dog will hear if I will make fool of myself. And this time it's like basically half of the word. Uh, so, um, in this hub, we have sponsors that are sponsoring amazing prizes. If you win, please be patient. And if you want to win, you have to, after the whole hopping is done, um, you will have to go back to all the channels and leave comments under the videos. And Tiffany uh, Solorio will uh, pick the winners. All rules are in Facebook event. If you type down the word uh, of heart uh, 2020, then you will find the event and there is all the info, all the links. I, I'm quite sure that I put all the names in the description box so you can um, hop along. Okay, I'm trying to center it without getting up, but I don't think it will happen. Okay, yeah, now it's centered. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, uh, so if you win the prize, please, please, please be patient. Nowadays, it's kind of crazy with shipping. Uh, I shipped my last week prize somehow, but I couldn't ship it as a... It's stupid. <laughs> I couldn't ship it as a regular bubble uh, shipment. I have to do. I have to do it in the box. So terribly sorry for my recipient. You will <laughs> receive a huge box with tiny card inside. <laughs> okay. So while this one is drying and settling down, I will quickly walk you through what we have on this project because here we have rust and I will show you the rust. It's a real rust. It's not like uh, a special effect uh, paste or it's not uh, sand with, uh, um, with the paint. It's this one. It's the real rust and I have it in those clusters. I make it all myself. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't demonstrate it for you because I use all my reagent, but I will walk you through it. So here I have the thing that I call, call rusty skin and I made it on the craft sheets and you can see that we have all the kinds of rust. We have more reddish one. My favorite one is um, yellowish one like this one or this one. Oh, this one is really nice. Well, definitely, we will use it. And how do we make it? We have to buy a rust set. Uh, and uh, I believe that you can get one from... Uh, um, here is the Powertex powder. There is a Pentat one. And I know that Stamperia also have it. And you buy the rust powder. It's a really heavy jar full of iron powder and it's a re real iron inside and you get a, a reagent in this set it's a liquid it's bluish or greenish it depends on the brand um, it's the liquid that activates the powder that uh, make a um, chemical reaction with the rust we don't heat it with the heat gun that's the important part because we don't we don't need to do that and it's dangerous so it's better to uh, leave it for a few hours and then you have the rusty uh, effect and you can do it directly on your artwork like i did here with this one or i can just add some gel medium to have something that my powder will stick to you can see the powder here it's black it, you know the reaction didn't went all the way through i put those blobs of gel medium on my craft sheet then sprinkle my powder activate it and leave it aside just let it be <laughs> uh, let it do uh, its thing okay uh, and then we have the rest that we can already
fabric used in the project. You can also use the uh, rust paste, uh, rust effect paste, and I have uh, Rusty from Viva. I will show you how it looks. It's a reddish uh, paint-like paste. It's hard to say. It has um, a little bit of sandy feeling to it, and it also looks like rust if you um if you put a little bit of effort and add some waxes on top and stuff like that it will look rusty and we might use that it works exactly like phenobar um uh, rust effect when you have those three little jars of different colors and you can mix and match here you have only one color and the rest is up to you you have to um work a little bit to make it look uh, so real as uh, Fina one. Okay, so I think that this one will go here and I definitely need something underneath because I feel that it's way, way, way too empty, but I'm not sure. So we will try and see. And those are again resin prints from Prima Molds. I have a lot of them. This one is from Profset Mold. It's a switch on off. Okay, and here I have some um, longer elements and I did them with resin and painted them black because I want them to look like this element. It was Prima Metal uh, decor and I loved it, but I couldn't get a new one. Oh, and this one is broken. Oh well. Okay, maybe this one or maybe this one. Ah, oh, don't break. Please don't break. Don't break. Okay, this one looks much better. What do you think? Yeah, I think that it looks much better and we will use this one. <laughs> okay, so first I will add some of the yummy rust in the background just to have some rusty um, details. And we are switching for heavy, uh, heavy body gel from uh, Phenobar. I love that stuff. I just love that stuff. Okay, uh, I'm forgetting about the comments. Um, uh, if you have some kind of urgent question, probably... Uh, oh, hello, Marta. So nice to see you. So now I have two modes. Yay! If you have any questions, just put them in the chat, maybe with the capital letters. I know that it's probably against the uh, internet behavioral rules, but I see only small letters on really small screen and I definitely should go to, to the optics <laughs> before the pandemic. Um, yeah. Oh, do, 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 do. Okay. Okay, and we will stick this one. Maybe. You know what? For the next time, it would be super smart just to mark myself <laughs> where I'm in the frame. Because it works so weird. I don't know if it's uh, like that for everyone else, but my frame on uh, Facebook. I get used to doing the Facebook lives. It's in totally different spot. I have the, exactly the same camera setting for uh, YouTube, for Facebook and for recording. And uh, my frame is in totally different spot. My Facebook frame is somewhere here. <laughs> okay. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. Okay, and underneath I added uh, a little bit of chipboard. Wait, I will tilt it. I put a ton of gel medium here between the layers. We have wings that are stuck together. And we have Tim Holtz metal frame. Okay, go here, just sit, sit, perfect. Okay, we don't see the rust like that. Ah. Okay, let's move this one here and let's put the rest here. Yeah, um, anyway, the questions, do you ever use the paper clay uh, for molds? Um, 
Prima paper clay. Uh, I, I'm not a biggest fan of Prima uh, paper material in the clay, in the mold, but I, I have used um, similar clay, but I prefer my clay to be um, more uh, cluster clay. It's also air drying, but uh, in the when you touch it, it's not like paper clay. It's more like a cluster or um, uh, oh my god, I lost, I totally lost the word in English. Ma, mm. uh, Gibbs for Angela School. Yeah, cluster. Plaster. Yeah. Plaster. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I like the plaster clay. Okay, perfect. Yeah, now it's fine and we can see the rest. We don't see the paper, but oh well, it's just one of the layers. Okay, and I need some small embellishments. Uh, here I have some uh, some metal elements and I like when I have something on my violin. So I think that maybe this one by Tim Holtz. Okay. Mm, what can we use? We can put up the star. actually add some fun stuff here yeah that will look fine but maybe this one this one says art no i meant that one yeah that one will look good here and i need one more for the bottom oh i have another one from tim holtz it's 13 no i will stay with 79 Okay, some more screws or screw heads. Okay, this one. How about this one? This one, this one, this one. How it goes here? Yeah, uh, no, uh, no. We will remove this one and we will remove this one and we will keep it simple because we still have to add colors. Okay, so I will add it later on and we will start coloring uh, the whole piece so I went quite dark here and I used uh, two Liquitex colors it's turquoise deep and mm, hard to say deep violet um, in uh, liquid inks oh hello Titoni <laughs> Okay, and I have my sprayer handy, and I also have my transparent raw amber. It's my favorite color to add the stress effect on anything at any given time. It's it's my go-to <laughs> color and medium. Okay, so um, I will put this one somewhere behind and I lost my lid okay yeah <clears throat> it goes here and I will start with turquoise uh, where is my palette for those it's here okay so everyone can see what I'm doing um, If you want to recreate that, uh, I think that uh, Finamba wings will work beautifully as well. Um, okay. And now we are adding an uh, absolutely excessive amount of water everywhere. <laughs> and I like to work with them like they would be a little bit uh, tech-colory. Like you would work with watercolors. So I will add it here and there. Clean -ish my brush. Remove part of the color from the rest. And now a little bit of purple. Okay. And the same thing. I'm just applying a little bit here and there 
and if you don't want your colors to mix of course you have to dry it between each layer but you don't have time to wait for me to dry each of my layers yeah, so we will just wing it and here we will add a little bit of purple as well okay yes so we always say that we don't mix green and purple and the stilquis have a lot of uh, green but it have also a lot of blue shoot everything is okay 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 hmm it's buffering weird okay we are back um yeah so basically my purple took over i don't mind at all uh, but i want to extend this leak here just to make it look more intentional it totally was not intentional but nobody have to know okay and now the brown okay and you know what just to um, mix stuff a little bit more we will add phenobar uh, liquid acrylic and a tiger orange and again the raw amber amber um, this color is a neutral brown I love it it's a little bit less liquid than inks are and it have a little bit different shade you will see in one second no you don't see the difference uh, in the shade probably in the camera um, the difference is really slight <laughs> it's just a little bit more greenish because neutral brown will be a little bit greenish from some kind of reason but when it's warm it it, it will be orangey so you know okay and we are just adding here and there a mix of both definitely here to just to uh, increase all the all the textures around the wings um i will do a dry brushing with white gesso and on the elements in the background on this one and on violin um i would go i will go a little bit with uh, prima waxes i just want to put the first layer of distressing down okay a little bit this one and maybe a little bit here just to add some shadow okay let's dry it up and see what we have um, oh my god i don't have to rush so much which is cool uh no i didn't put uh, anything on top of my resin and that's why it's resisting so much yeah, because resin is a plastic. If you use uh, paper clay or um, uh, any other clay, it will just soak the color in and the resin will resist. But it's totally possible to do a wash on top. Oh, yeah, because I supposed to tell you, and I forgot, <laughs> that the technique that we are using, like applying the liquid color and diluting it with water, just to increase all the maximum crannies. Uh, that is called a great wash. And those cool sounds that you can hear in the background is uh, a lovely custom. Okay, clean brocade. One hand is drying, second hand is looking for the waxes that we didn't prepare ahead. <laughs> okay, so I have a few colors of metal. I have a bronze age, I have vintage silk, my definitely favorite, and it became my favorite after I watched uh, Tiffany doing swatches of all her waxes. I made all my choices. <laughs> 
of the first waxes based on that video, by the way. I have white gold, I have green brocade, and I have matte wax in the rusty brown because it will just add this nice dusty effect into our artwork. Okay, I think that we are basically done and uh, the wing collapsed. When you heat the resin, it will, <laughs> it will become very, very soft. So till it will cool down, I will just support it with the with this thing <laughs> okay so now uh, I have a really fluffy brush you can use the makeup brush like this one it's uh, a shadow blending brush or you can use this one is uh, it was oval wash but because I'm using it to dry brush so it looks like that and I'm just picking a little bit of wax and I will start to wax a little bit this black element because that's why it's black so it will <laughs> look so nice waxed okay and a little bit on my violin here and there I'm trying to avoid the wing area, but you can go definitely a little bit into the background to have just this little spark. Now this one, it's white gold, so it's slightly lighter here and there. Okay, can I move this one still? Yes, I can. Okay. So I will just pick it up. It will annoy me if I will have this part not painted at all. Okay, and now go back. Go back. Okay, nice. Nice, nice, nice. And now green brocade on the violin only. Because uh, on light surface it will not look um, green it will look gold okay perfect and i will go back this time i'm using this tiger orange color and i will just add the rusty look this color will look like a uh, if you want to make like watercolory rusty stains, this tiger orange is just awesome. And it's translucent, so you can see other colors through it. And I can go over the purple with the orange because it's acrylic and it's dry, and they will not mix, and that makes me happy. Okay. So now I need a small brush that will be still quite soft. It's soft and flexible and we will switch for the matte wax. And matte wax is much more liquid than the metallic waxes. They also do not have this uh, amazing smell to them they don't smell like almonds and they first of all they look so bomb with the uh, with the metallic waxes second of all <laughs> they are just amazing to add like distress vintage dusty look um, that i personally love uh, and by dusty i don't mean anything bad uh, it just looks like it was on somebody's attic for a really long time and it catches some dirt and dust okay a little bit here and there and i'm using a brown shade it's called 
yeah, rusty brown. Okay, a little bit on the wings. Okay, great. And I feel that I will need one more layer of orange after dry brushing wings and white. to everyone who are joining okay we yeah, basically will go back and forward with uh, um, waxing the elements to make them look like rust and to adding layers of acrylic and I need to support my wing because it's because it's just hanging, hanging on the edge all the time. <laughs> I will add another ring over here. And that's supposed to help. Okay, maybe the frame as well. Yay. Okay, so tiger orange. And again. Nice layer here and I'm trying to create the watercolor like puddles you know when you have this watercolor stain that have really dark edges so uh, I'm trying to add my color so it will stay in the in the puddles with washed edges okay Okay, on top of the matte wax, the color will not sit so nice. I mean, we can force it, but you can see that it will try to mix and acrylics will not mix well with wax. Okay. And I will put it up so you can see what I'm talking about. I can force it uh, with the heat gun and with uh, layering few layers but you can see it here on the violin like the color do not want to sit on top of the wax i mean yeah it's uh it's just pure logic <laughs> but still uh, you can make uh you can force it you can make it sit there if you apply it over and over and use the heat gun Oops, a little bit too much orange. Oh well, so now we can go crazy. Okay, a little bit more here and there. Okay, and a little bit here. Perfect. And now it's heated again. A little bit higher, a little bit higher. Yes, resin is very addictive. Since I discovered resin pouring and found that involves mold making and all this amazing tall yard. <laughs> A totally new word. Oh my god, it's crazy. Okay, so now we will again.
can add uh, Humber ink. You can go also with the paint. It doesn't matter. It will be, you know, similar look. I just have this one handy. Okay. And I'm putting the base for uh, a dry brush moment. Okay, here. Oops. Here I have some black gesso because I squeezed way too much when uh, I was painting the resin elements. And to not have it dried down, I just fold it with the foil for later. Okay, I will bring my palette. He will, here will be my black corner. And now I need my brush to be dry-ish. And you don't want to do uh, any of this with your favorite brushes because I go through brushes like crazy. As you can see, I don't treat them too well. Okay, so now I'm mixing in the black into the wings and here in the background a little bit. I will even everything out with a uh, white dry brushing on the wings and I can always go back with the waxes for the violin and uh, for this big background element. Okay. My original piece was quite dark as well. And this one will be no difference. And I think that the most interesting part about whole artwork is that it's so dark. It has some colors because you can still see the blue, you can still see the purple, you can still see the orange, you can still Still see the metal color but it's it is quite dark okay I just need like paint left over on my brush to add some shading here and there and just so as you can see it sits much better than just acrylic paint on top of the wax Okay, okay, let's dry it and let's dry brush the wings and then we can pick some sentiment and see how much dry brushing we still have left. Okay, and I will use my brush underneath because from heat it went down as well. So I'm trying to lift up the main composition part. And in a regular crafty day, I could just wait until everything is dry. I do not use a heat gun a lot. Go up. Why I'm sitting in the just the bottom. I can move this one up. I can move this one here. Okay, so now I will let it cool down. Um, yeah, and I will support the composition here until it will cool down. When it cools down, the resin will um, set again, like this one. If I will warm it up, like I will show you on the separate piece of resin, because it might be a cool trick. I will warm it with the heat gun. You can see that I can bend it 
and if I will let it cool like this in the bended position okay over the bottle for example hold it 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 yeah perfect so when it uh, cool down bend it it will stay bended so if you uh, have resin and you want to do the things like we do with the paper clay because most people pick the paper clay and I have huge brown stain everywhere and all my hands are brown uh, most people pick the paper clay because it's so bendable and you can wrap it around some elements and you can do the same thing with resin you just need to warm it up okay so in the background I would love to see some orange so maybe we will take red amber from antique brilliance and I will just add a tiny little bit here and there so it will look more like rust here's my brush that have to be clean-ish Uh, it's my favorite part of the process you know uh, layering the products because it might not make sense for you that I'm putting wax and then just the paint on top of it so my wax is very shiny and, um, and so it will no not in the brown paint so it will can you can you not do it here please Thank you. Uh, yes, yeah, so through the paint you can still see the waxy shine. Okay. No, let's take the vintage silk. Okay. Okay, and let's add just a little bit here and there. Perfect. Now I'm avoiding uh, touching the the wings area because I want to have them white okay perfect now time for a white touch and I will again need a fluffy brush again an eyeshadow brush I think it's the cheapest way to get those brushes some kind of store brand like Oh my god i don't know uh, so many american stores and maybe i will make a fool of myself but like ulta should have some cheap brushes or oh, wet and wild i think it's an uh, american company um, okay it maybe i can lift it up and break scoop it closer so that's how they look when they are just covered with um, dark color now I'm, I'm getting in with a white and i'm just swirling my brush on, uh, on the top of the surface i'm not painting i'm not putting any pressure look at my hand it just leaves the nice uh, soft cast of white okay okay i'm happy yeah me happy uh, me happy Probably I would finish the edges or cut them out so they will not stick out. We will see what I will do with them. I still want to add some metal stuff here. Uh, and I'm sure that I have a big, big planks, big metal ones. Yeah, it's here. The same one that this electrical one from oh come on here no 
it have to be vertical? It have to be something. Hmm. This one. Maybe this one. And actually, maybe this one will look cool in the background. No. No, it will not. How about this gear? Yeah, the gear looks decent, so let's put it over there. Because right now we are killing the time. I could wrap it and just say that I'm done. So I miscalculated how long it will take and I prepared way too, <laughs> too many things. <laughs> I could just do the painting live but I was I'm always afraid that I will run out run of the time and I don't want to force anyone to stay longer maybe Karen I, I have no idea if Karen is here but if she is maybe she will yes um, could I play a bit on my screen? maybe later honey Okay, but yeah, but now I'm busy. Okay, what is me? I want to yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Joys of having whole family home, huh? <laughs> oh, my dad. Okay, so I think it looks cool. The composition over there. And maybe one more silver. Uh, no. No, too much. Too much. Okay, and I need... Oh, I wanted to stick this one down. So let's do it now. Oops. And I will not distress this one because it's already... A vintage plug so it will already look nice okay perfect 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 and maybe something behind the violin here hmm. I don't know what I could put over there I have like the number plate no it's too small I have also the sentiment like that Hmm. No. Anyway, how about some sentiments? Do you have any ideas, guys, what I could use as the sentiment? Because we still have um, a few more minutes. I'm basically done. But we still have time so I can add stuff or I can show you something else. Because um, this one definitely have to dry and when it's dry, I will add a little bit more of the color. So maybe I will put on my heat gun again, just here on this area and I will work with my brush under the heat gun. It will kill your brush as well. Mm, I mean, these things will dry faster and they will look cool but heating your brush with paint and your medium it will kill the brush <laughs> just just so you know don't blame me okay and i will add i want more color on this one so this one is already no it is here perfect we lost all the colors I went crazy with the gears and I forgot how small and tiny my composition is and we lost all the color so let's bring some back okay I think I like it I mean, I'm never sure. It will have to sit for a few days and we will see if we like it or not. But I think it looks not so bad. 
and this one is the original piece a little bit less shiny a little bit more distressed so you can see yeah so maybe more of the brown on the violin and this edge is bothering me so much but it have to be dry for me to be able to cut it off okay so let's push that ring a little bit harder but not so far mm, perfect okay do we have karen here on the chat no we don't have her here um okay let's look do you have any stamps that mention music or lifting spirits uh like the sentiment stamps no i don't have uh i don't have a lot of sentiment stamps at all i have tim Hortz <laughs> snarky stickers they will not fit as well because i would love to have something with um with the positive message with uh, with the cool vibe i think i still have uh, one of sentiments from marlene like stay home and crap that i used last week with the cards um when surprise the color will come out yeah you're right when it dries dries because right now i heat it with heat gun if it will lay down for sometime in uh, on my shelf till tomorrow it will probably change and it might change as well because i will not stop poking it like right now you know i i'm sitting i'm mm, watching the chat oh thank you tony yeah the team hold snarky ones are always a good love and they somehow fitting always uh, I think some people might find them <laughs> a little bit offensive. <laughs> but I um, I love snark humor and I'm quite a sarcastic person, so I don't mind at all. Um, but you know, every time I'm making a card, I feel like, yeah, I will just grab something from the Tim Holtz quotes just because they look so cool. And it's so it's such an easy way just to grab the uh, the thing that it's already pre thought. You don't have to think about sentiments. I think that the part of my struggle is not only that English is not my first language, but you have also a lot of sayings and a lot of um, words of wisdom that actually don't make sense if you are not an English speaker. Um, yeah, uh, I would say, uh, I would tell you about a really good example, but it's way too early. I mean, I talked that it's not for kids, but I I still don't know uh, if the words that I want to use are not too offensive. Um, but yeah, it never makes sense. I have Tim Holtz stickers. Let's grab them because I don't know if Karen is here so you can go through my stash with me. I have a small cheat chat. I have big talk in the snarky. I have small talk in snarky. Uh, I have casual small talk. Another snarky one. And one big chat, or maybe clippings. Okay, let's see what we have here. Troubles and troubling. Okay, hearts have all things. Okay, I found the sentiment. I took off all those things, but I think that we will add this one. Heart have all things. It matches. And I wanted to use it yesterday on one of the cards that I cannot show you yet. Mm, come on, a piece of paper. Do you also have this issue like I have right now? <laughs> you know, I have 10,000 pieces of paper laying randomly everywhere around the house. 
but in the moment when I need just a piece of cardstock to back up my sentiment, they gone. I can't find a single one. So we will go with hard half four things. And I will just double it up because we still have a lot of time. Yeah. I didn't thought about making something a little bit more technical because um you know it's always hard to say hello Anya no never yes you are so organized of course <laughs> of course I remember how you were looking for this makeup brush during the last one of your last live streams mm -hmm. I like clippings because First of all, there is a lot of um, sentiments like this one. Uh, I would not think about it. And uh, it's maybe because, again, I'm not a native speaker, so I don't think about a lot of things. You know, I can came up with really standard sentiments like best wishes, all the best, hugs and kisses, things like that. But uh, I like to use a little bit more complicated sentiments in my artworks, the, the one that have a deeper meaning and are a little bit more poetic, but I can, I cannot come up with them just up from my head. I usually call my friend Belinda and she helps me. <laughs> Okay, I definitely need a distance square and I have none left. Oh my god. Ah, what a disaster. Because we cannot go out and I cannot show. Oh yeah, I found it. Um, I, of course, run out of everything by now because I don't stop. I will start to do, do it again because I was hoarding a uh, really lot of um, uh, canvases. I always had a nice stock of uh, double-sided tapes and um, foam squares and, you know, all those necessities. And at some point when we moved here, uh, I moved from having like whole room for myself to having a one corner for myself and uh, yeah it's not only for myself but in general I can keep the crafty stuff there so I reduce a lot of my hoarding and I'm trying to clean you know like every month I'm putting stuff to the destash box okay yeah, I like it. And I will cut off all this edge, okay? So it will be small, smaller. It will fit the embroidery ring. And I feel that it will make a huge difference and it will look much better. Maybe I will add a white wax around. Because um, again, I want to keep you occupied till the next live stream Cynthia I think that we are all in the collecting phase I, I don't think that it will like pass <laughs> ever. Uh, but yeah time to time when you collected some items okay maybe it's just me and it's something might be horribly wrong with me I hoard some items with the purpose of this special project you know I will use it on this very special project um, I have it especially with Tim Holtz and Finaba embellishments um, as we don't get so many I don't like to shop online I can shop online in Germany 
because I don't speak German. Surprise, surprise. But I live in Germany. Long story. No time for explanation. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I don't shop online. I like to shop in person. So when I put my hands on something, when I hold it for this, you know, very special project. And um, like right now, I went to the basement and I went to the secret cupboard in the other room where I have all those things that I was saving for super special project. And you know what? It's six years and a special project never came. So either I will use them right now or I will discharge them. I, I will just pass them to the bed at home because obviously I didn't use it for this whole time so maybe maybe I didn't need it as badly as I thought and that will force me to use up all my stash I have this rule from some time I think I was speaking up uh, talking about it on YouTube um, okay so now I think it looks much better. I love the touch of the white wax on the wings. Wait, it's not fully visible. And we have the sentiment, heart, have all things. And I will go around. Yeah, so basically, randomly, I have no idea why I'm chatting about it, but I will finish my thought. So uh, this way of distashing and going through my stuff regularly, like twice a month and, you know, just taking stuff that you have hoard for a really long time and like, yeah, now it will be here on top of my desk and I will use it or I have to get rid of it. You don't have, sorry, I don't throw it away. Don't get me wrong, I'm not wasting anything, but I'm either giving it away for someone to do something, like um, we have amazing wave of um, beginners that are just starting to collect, and yeah. Um, and I'm either using it or I have to destash some stuff, because otherwise it gets too much and we all want to test out all those new things i'm basically on weird no buy that means uh, i uh, i'm trying not to buy as much as i was buying i'm buying only things that i know that i will use or things that i loved and i'm using like um I'm trying not to buy too many things, but every time when I shop somewhere and I will see the, the wax that I don't have, I will take one. And by buying them one by one, I already have a nice collection. The same is with the metallic paints that I love. I know that I will use them. And with paints, it's a little bit different because my husband is using them as well. Anyway, in eight minutes, we have Karen. Karen, oh my God, so sorry. We have Karen streaming and I will put uh, a link to her channel in the chat. Okay. I will find first the link to her channel. So Karen is here. Okay, and um, I'm coming to my own. Okay, so guys, did you have fun here? And are you enjoying the event? And are you enjoying Okay, I could hear myself shouting. Why nobody told me that I'm shouting all the time? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, it's horrible. Anyway, I have the link to Karen. Um or maybe not, because I did something <laughs> horribly wrong. Okay. Um, let's put it here. Okay, now it's going up on the chat. It's the link to Karen's uh, channel. Oh, thank you, David. You are so nice. <laughs> so I can delete my my comment no sorry guys i cannot delete my own comment i can delete each single 
other one, but not mine. So yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. I always enjoy those live streams uh, very much. I I have to catch up with the Tiffany's one because I was doing the dinner and I have a bad luck with cooking with Tiffany. I always burn my dinner when I watch Tiffany while I'm cooking. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I have to catch up with this one and I will be on the chat for the next ones. And thank you for stopping by and you guys can move on to the Karen's channel. She will start in six minutes. I will just hang here and maybe answer some questions if it if it, something happened. Where did the guitar and wings came from? Uh, Belinda Waters. So uh, the violin, it's a snipper keyboard. I will put the link into this, uh, in the comments in one second. Uh, it's violin. So, um, and they have also a huge version of, uh, uh, of the same thing. I will put it right now in the chat and you might want to wait a few days before you order because they reworking the website still. Okay, so here is the violin and the wings are my mm, resin that I poured into the mold. The mold is no brand at all. I bought it on one of the Polish conventions. They had like whole, oh wait, maybe on the other one. They came with the set. Come on, come on. Why I didn't thought about it earlier? Oh my god. Okay. So they came with the set. Uh, I have no idea. I have just the 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 um, the mark that it's food grade, but nothing nothing else. It was a set. There were wings and there was a border and there were a crowns. <sighs> okay, and that was the wings and I did them with resin. But yeah, you can call it guitar. <laughs> I would say that it's basically the same shape. Just don't tell my husband. <laughs> I'm quite happy with my piece. It went so fast because I prepped so many things, you know, if I would have to paint everything black, etc., it will take a little bit more time, especially if we would make the rust on live stream. Okay, I see that your background paper. Now, uh, it was AB Studio uh, rice paper on top of the white desu. I don't know the name of the rice paper. It was white uh, rice paper with the sentiment um, about the postcard. That turned out lovely. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, guys, so uh, I will close it up because it's three minutes and I see that you are chit chatting. <laughs> so, yeah, I would like to invite you to. Karen's channel last week she did amazing thing with alcohol allies and I cannot wait to see what she will do today okay we are going with the close-up and bye bye